Hello, everyone, and welcome to Channel 781 News. We are going to be slightly changing our format. This is the headline show. I'm going to be, give you a brief summary of what's going on in Waltham. And then we're going to have our debrief show uh, with Chris Gamble and James Krakelis, where we discuss the news and bring on special guests. We're going to relaunch that for you next week. So stay tuned for the debrief show next week. But in the meantime, here's what's going on in Waltham. This week in Waltham, Mayor Jeanette McCarthy said in an email to WCAC that she plans to run for re-election next year. McCarthy has been mayor of Waltham for 18 years, and she would be running for a sixth four-year term. In the last mayoral election in 2019, she initially said she did not plan to run, but changed her mind and ended up beating former city councilor Diane LeBlanc. We don't know yet who might be challenging her in November of 2023. In addition to the position of mayor, three school committee seats will be on the ballot and all the city council seats will be on the ballot next year. And in our debrief show next week, we're gonna to try to bring on some guests who can give us some more background on Mayor McCarthy's career uh, going into next year's election. Speaking of elections, primaries for this year's state elections will take place this coming Tuesday, September 2nd, and early voting has already begun. In the 9th Middlesex District, which includes most of Waltham, Heather May is challenging long-serving incumbent Tom Stanley in the Democratic primary for his seat in the state's House of Representatives. Waltham's other state rep, John Lawn, and our Senator Michael Barrett are running unopposed. Several other important state positions are on the ballot, including governor, secretary of state, attorney general, and governor's council, which is a lesser known but very important body that chooses judges. For more info on voting, check out the Secretary of State's website or the Waltham subreddit. This past Saturday, Waltham had its first ever critical mass event, a group bike ride intended to highlight the dangers of riding a bike in Waltham, as well as the potential rewards of better bike infrastructure. A group of about 15 bikers gathered on the Waltham Common and took a route that included some of the best and worst places to bike in Waltham, ending up at the farmer's market with a few extra people who joined them along the way. The event was organized by the new Waltham Critical Mass Group, which plans to do more rides like this. The Massachusetts Republican Party says it has gathered enough signatures to put a question on this year's ballot that would reverse a recent decision by the Massachusetts legislature and prevent undocumented immigrants from applying for driver's licenses. You may remember Waltham was one of several towns where people were gathering signatures for this effort, and there were also protests against it. The GOP then sued Massachusetts Attorney General Maura Healy, who's also running for governor, along with Waltham City Councilor Jonathan Paz, State Senator Jamie Eldridge, and one other person involved in the protests, alleging they blocked and intimidated potential signers. Since then, a judge disagreed with at least one part of that lawsuit, turning down a request for a restraining order against Senator Eldridge. A few weeks ago, the GOP reported that they had collected about 22,000 of the 40,000 signatures needed to put the question on the ballot, but a few days ago, they said they now have 100,000. Those signatures still need to be certified by the Attorney General, Laura Healy. In upcoming meetings, the school committee is meeting this week, um, Wednesday the 31st at 7 p.m. at the high school. On September 1st at 7 p.m., the Conservation Commission will be meeting. I'm not sure of the location. On September 2nd, 8.30 a.m., the Disability Services Commission will be having their annual meeting on Zoom. On September 8th at, Walt at 1 p.m., the Waltham Library Trustees will be meeting at the library. On September 12th at 7.30 p.m. will be the next time the city council meets um, at City Hall. We know they're going to be doing some hearings for cannabis dispensaries that night. We don't know what else uh, might be on their agenda that night. On the 13th at 7 p.m., the Zoning Board of Appeals will be meeting at 119 School Street. And also that same night at 7 p.m., the Community Preservation Committee will be meeting. I'm not sure of the location on that one. In other community events, the Lyman Estate is having a fall orchid sale September 9th through 11th. Waltham Day on the Common is September 17th. The Recovery Festival, as in Recovery from Addictions, is September 18th. The Phantom Gourmet Food Festival and the Motorheads Car Show are both on September 24th. 
The Craft Beer for a Cause, which is a fundraising event for the Charles River Museum is September 29th. And the Waltham Farmer's Market is still go ongoing on Saturdays. If you'd like more details on any of those events, check out the Waltham subreddit. And we'll look forward to seeing you next week with more headlines and the debrief with Chris and James. I hope you have a good week.